Do you wish you could be the present mom you've always wanted to be, but still need to provide an income for your family? Are you tired of scouring the internet for legit jobs that will replace your income and that you can do from home in your PJs? Hey friend, welcome to the Virtual Assistant Mama podcast. I know you're over there Googling jobs for moms, legit work at home jobs, or start a side hustle, yet you can't figure out how to take that first step. So instead, you stay stuck, do nothing, or start random side hustles to try to make quick money. Becoming a virtual assistant is the answered prayer you've been waiting for. My name is Ariana, and I'm a former teacher turned work at home mom who replaced my teaching income as a virtual assistant in just six months. I did this by taking a step of faith and following the dream that God placed on my heart to be home with my babies. Mama, your dreams pale in comparison to God's dreams for you. Imagine offering services that light you up, working with clients who value you and pay you what you're worth, and having a job that works around your life and not the other way around. This is the podcast for you. It's time to take that first step. Are you ready? Here we go. One of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of new virtual assistants make is that they don't have a contract in place. Contracts legally protect you in case you ever have an issue with your client, and it also sets boundaries for that client so that they don't overstep them. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you five of the most important clauses that you should have in your contract that you send to your clients. Now, just a side note, I am not a lawyer, so I do recommend talking to a lawyer to just make sure you're completely protected, but this is what I've done and what has worked for me and many of the students in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy. So the first clause, you need to state exactly what services you will be doing for your client. Write out a detailed description of what package they agreed to what things you will be doing, if there's a limit on hours you're doing for them, write in what that limit is. And then the second clause is your compensation. How much are you going to be paid in exchange for those services? Okay. The third clause is for additional services or revisions or whatever your client has. So if they need extra hours, what are you going to charge them for those extra hours? If maybe, for example, you're creating a logo design, you're not charging hourly, you're just charging, you know, a certain amount for a logo plus two revisions, well, maybe they end up wanting a third revision. You need to put in your contract a clause stating how much you're going to charge for extra revisions on top of those two that you already included. You also should have a termination clause. In the termination clause, you need to state how much notice they need to give you if they're no longer going to need your services. I recommend at least 14 days if not 30. 30 would be ideal because then you have a whole month to replace them before you fully lose them, but 14 days at minimum. The next clause you should have is a clause about having the ability to use the work you've done for them and like to showcase it in your portfolio. That way you can show other clients your skills so that they'll want to hire you as well. So just have a clause about that so you can just showcase your work for them. Now, again, these are just the five most important clauses, but there are a lot of other clauses you should have in a contract. And if you didn't already know, in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy, I have an entire contract for you in there where you literally just plug and play your information. It makes it so easy for you, so simple, and it will literally take you 10 minutes, if that. Also in the Virtual Assistant Mama Academy, we have a template for your portfolio. You'll learn how to do different virtual assistant skills in there. You'll get all the accountability and support you need to take your virtual assistant business from zero to 60, fully replace your income, and be that present mama you've always wanted to be. So if you want to check that out, go check it out at virtualassistantmama.com. And I cannot wait to see you in there. All right, y'all. I love you so much, and we will see you next episode. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I would love to bless you with a free gift as a thank you. All you have to do is leave a review of the show on Apple Podcasts, make a screenshot, and send it to podcast at virtualassistantmama.com. I'll send you a code so you can snag my virtual assistant toolkit for free. And don't forget to come hang out with us in our free community, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash virtual assistant mama. I'm so honored to support you in your journey to becoming a virtual assistant. Until next week, y'all keep following the dreams that were placed on your heart so you can be the present mama you've always wanted to be.